Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will. Hopefully you're having a great day today. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to get music buying fans on autopilot and how to pocket an extra $1,000 per month as an artist, producer, or label. So hopefully you guys are enjoying, you know, I was just out in the city recently, went to go get some food. I was, it was a chaos. It was like taxis. There was a bunch of cars. I, it was really loud. I was getting some food and, and I thought, uh, this is kind of crazy, but I like enjoyed it, right? Now, I come back out here. I live in Colorado, and I right now is where I live. I grew up in California, and I came out here to where you can hear the birds chirp, where there's some light rain. It's real green because it's spring right now, and I thought, it is so peaceful now, and, and this feels really good. And I thought, you know, um, having going from chaos to peaceful and back and forth, it's good to have a balance sometimes, experience them both. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down some of the chaos of Spotify. And I'm also going to be sharing with you some of the peace of mind, the peaceful side of the music industry. And I hope that you feel that I'm not bashing on Spotify so much, but that I'm just opening your eyes up to what my experience has been in making money in the music industry and where the real money is at. So hopefully you guys enjoy, hopefully you get some value out of it. Let's jump in. Hopefully you're having a great day. Guys, we have a network online of 2.5 million on our music network. So the reason I share that with you is because I want you to know we run, for those of you that don't know who I am, we run a series of music businesses. We got our Instagram pages. You can see my Instagram page down there, 8,000 bucks or 8,000 followers. Um, and then music sales. Um, I started making music and I was pretty discouraged. I didn't really get a lot of um, you know, backup. Sometimes people would say, are you going to make a living from music? And I would say, um, I'm probably going to go into finance. I'll probably like make, make it with business or be an entrepreneur. And then, uh, when I have money, then I'll try and be an artist. But guys, it didn't work out like that. Just a month later, after saying that I ended up creating a song for Invisalign. You can see the text there. And I created this song for Invisalign. It just so happened. They wanted me to make a song. And after making it, I got offered to sell them the song. I, they flew me out. You can see there's a real nice, um, a really nice uh, restaurant, or not restaurant, a hotel. It's called the Fairmont. I went, I did a speech. I played them my song about Invisalign. They all liked it. I got to meet the CEO. They paid for my room for my whole family. And it was amazing. And then after that, they wanted to buy my song. So I sold it to them for over 10,000 bucks. You guys can see I had a very humble studio, home studio. Literally, this was my setup. I had this Dell computer that my dad had at his work office. Um, and he had he talked to his boss and was like, hey, we never use this monitor. Can I bring it home for my son? So that was my, my setup for my computer and my mouse and my keyboard. And then I got that piano. It's like an old Yamaha piano from a relative. And then I get like a $65 mic off of, you know, eBay. It was an MXL 770, I think is what it was called, or 570 or something. And a Logitech speaker set. And I made the song for them on this setup on FL Studio cracked version. And I sold it to them for 10,000 bucks. Do you see where you, you choose the right market? I was getting so discouraged. I was in streaming choose the right market, everything can change for you. On the right, you see our music businesses is what they bring in on a monthly basis from the, the streams, but also just from our subscribers on the, the Instagram pages on our music networks. And I've been working with hundreds of artists, guys, and labels recently to help them build their music businesses out and do some of the things that I've done in the industry. So what I've learned is that passion does not equal growth. You can be really passionate about something, but it doesn't always equal growth. You know why? Because passion plus the right vehicle equals growth. So the right vehicle is where you put in work and you see more output than the work that you put in. Okay. So you get paid more than the work you put in. The wrong vehicle is where you don't see the output. So this is the, the, the vehicle, right? Streaming has been the wrong vehicle for me. For the most part, streaming has been the wrong vehicle for me. And so if you look at 
Spotify and you look at YouTube and you look at the payouts, the vehicle, as far as a money-making source, hasn't been there for me, at least. And I want to compare this big company of Spotify or the music industry, right? You have Apple Music and what have you with this company, Airbnb. And you might say, well, it's kind of out there, is it? They're huge, massive companies and they have things in common. And I want to share with you something. How's your feeling about Airbnb? Uh, personally, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's like when someone says, oh yeah, we're getting an Airbnb. I think, oh, that's cool. Like Airbnb is cool. And um, you probably have enjoyed Airbnb. Like it's, I don't know, something about it. It's just nice, right? It's clean. You get new, new experience. It's not just like a hotel room and you get to go to cool. I went to an Airbnb in, in New Mexico. It was called a cozy casita. It's a tiny little house. My wife and I had the best time ever. And then I, I got an Airbnb in Las Vegas one time, really enjoyed it. It was like really hot there, but like the place was like, you had a lock that was, anyways, it was really cool. I liked it. Um, and it, it was just a really nice time of year when I went as well. And so Airbnb guys, what if they decided, what if they, they connect the person who wants a hotel and has money with the person that wants to rent their place. Right. But what if they decided this, there's one house that's really beat up like this. There's another house that's really nice. Okay. Really nice. What if the crappy house was 300 bucks per night? And the really nice house was 300 bucks per night. And Airbnb, they just flat out said every single every single house is uh, 300 bucks a night. It doesn't matter if it's not good or it's really good. It's 300 bucks a night. Do you think that the person that's looking for a place would be too satisfied? Eh, maybe in most cases, probably not. If they wanted to get, if they had to pay $300 for the crappy house, they'd be like, ah, I don't really like this. And what about the person that wants to rent their place and make money? They're probably saying, oh, I don't want to rent my really nice mansion for just 300 bucks. You see what I'm saying here? So guys, the streaming industry, okay? Let's take a look at it. Same deal, it connects a music provider with a listener. Music provider that's giving them an experience that wants to also make some money with a listener that wants the experience and is willing to pay some money. $795 billion industry. So I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine that the person who wants the experience then is willing to pay for it. And the person who wants to make money, imagine that every single song was the same price. <laughs> you guys see what I'm saying? Every single song is the same price. They pay the same amount for streams for every song and they pay well, you might have a really nice release, great engineering, awesome artist, beautiful artwork, fans extremely satisfied with the experience. And then you might have an album cover or an album artwork that the fans are really upset. They don't they don't like it. They're like, "Is this actually out? Why did I waste my time?" And what? They both are the exact same value. The exact same price. So this price setting is something that obviously is not going to leave the person who wants to make money on the platform feeling too good about putting in a lot of effort. And the person that wants the experience, knowing that their money, they would be willing to spend on a good experience, but that their money is, is not going to the artist also feel this. So it's the wrong vehicle, guys. It is the wrong vehicle for me. So maybe for you too, here's what the right vehicle looks like for me. So here's an example. You have an artist, 3000 monthly listeners, a little bit over $4 a month. The buyer of the music subscription finds the music, takes up the offer to support our music, and then provides unre we provide unreleased music to the fans, listen to exclusive content, that's what it looks like. $10 per on track to 2000 per month. This is what it looks like, guys. Shopify, Bandcamp, this is what um, the solution is, in my eyes, for you to be able to uh, get the money that you need from your music and get the paydays is going 
sell your music on to uh, TikTok shop, Shopify, Banzoogle, go over to Even, go over to Grouped, music subscriptions. This is where the money is being made, okay? So it's very important you, that, that you have this, this uh, in your head because this is a different part of the music industry. And this is where I was just talking with the artists. They just commented. They said, Will, I get what you're saying, but 70% of the money made in the, in the music industry is from, uh, is from streams. And I said, huh, interesting. So I did some research. Less than 1% of artists make 70% of the streaming revenue. So what does that mean? There's only a small handful of artists that make the majority of all the money from streaming. And so what do the everyday artists look like? Well, over 50% of artists have less than 100 monthly listeners on Spotify. Spotify doesn't pay for the first 1,000 on any song. So the reality is majority of artists, they don't make from streaming. They make in this small net market if they're making money. So most people think that they need to build a business that competes with the biggest and the best music record labels to make money. And most people think that maybe you think this way too, that you need to learn to implement 17 different ways to monetize your music. Oh, I need to go over here with vinyl and merch and I need to go over here, probably um, probably get some copy or sell some sample packs or I'll talk to this business. Maybe they need a drink. You see how you're in all these different places. They, You might think that you need to have cash or labels or you need to get a loan ready to fund all of the music earnings. And that you need one, you need 10,000, 100,000, a million or more listeners on Spotify each month to really cash in and make money with music. But that's not true, guys. To be frank with you, I think that's one of the hardest ways to try to be successful and make substantial amounts of money and often leads to failure. So what I want you to realize is that with the right markets every month, there are many listeners who are extremely motivated to buy the art from the artist. And you you only need one listener, in my case, only need one purchaser to buy your music offer online to scale that studio time into $1,000 payday or more. So the person who wants the experience is willing to pay money for the music experience and the artist who wants to make money. There's a space in between. And what if you could capitalize on it and make $10,000? Or what if not just one person, what if there's many people who want that music experience and the artist wants to make the money and they could capitalize it and make $10,000? Guys, here's some numbers from a platform. This is actually over um, on the direct consumer side of things, selling copies, producers and artists. Total revenue. Before I get into this total revenue, guys, 55 monthly listeners, $882 from this release. Total fans, 29 fans. Average sale price, $30. The streaming equivalent, 252,000 streams. 55 monthly listeners made the equivalent of 252,000 in streaming. So here's another artist, total revenue, 37. Uh, total revenue is uh, $2,000. They only had 3,000 monthly listeners, but they made 2,000 bucks by selling to 37 fans. And doing that was an, a streaming equivalent of 577,000. There's more artists that have more streams that make sales there's artists that have even more and make sales, $8,000. This is one release, okay? And as you can see, you know, like let's take a look here. Uh, you have 300 people, 300 fans. They made $6,000 from 300 people versus that would have taken 1.9 million people to listen to their song on streaming. But instead they sold to 300 people and they made 7,000 bucks. So 
these are the artists. This is the, the direction that I'm seeing artists go. You know, only having a very small number of listeners to then doing a release, making 10 sales for 1200 bucks with a streaming equivalent of 355,000. So how my jewel, AKA spotty Wi-Fi, made $200,000 in 48 hours. Guys, my jewel, I interviewed on our YouTube channel. So if you guys, uh, if, you, if you've been with the YouTube channel a while, you know, three, three years ago, I established this relationship with spotty because there's some things he's doing in the music industry. He comes from a lawyer background, music law, he understands it. He sold, he, ha- he only had 1,300 monthly listeners, but he sold $200,000 worth of music in 48 hours. So my question to you is, if you could make music offers perfectly priced for your audience without doing research, without waiting forever to get paid, like you do on Spotify, waiting months and months to get your streaming money, if it is paid out or if it is anything, and no overhead cost with little to no risk, would you? So guys, here is some breakdowns on numbers of the music business. You can sell 10,000 units at $1 per unit, variable cost of 500 bucks and make $10,000. Now, one thing that, that is more predictable and that I've seen is, for example, a producer or an artist with that unit sell price of around 20 bucks selling 500 units for $10,000. That's what we just saw on a bunch of the examples, real life examples in in the past few slides. And also what I've found as producers and singer songwriters, producers sometimes go more like 50 bucks or more like a thousand bucks per. Or you can do what I shared with you guys that I sold one song, one unit, variable cost of 500 bucks as far as like lawyer fees and doing uh, doing a little bit on, uh, not even on production, just lawyer fees, basically, uh, $10,000. So the industry truth is focusing your effort in the right market will, will produce better, more consistent and faster results than going bigger and spending more. This means you can make more money by spending less money on marketing to get fans and by focusing first on specific platforms and then specific offers on those platforms. Being in the right market and then creating offers to sell your music. So I'm looking for something from you right now. Guys, if the idea of making more money faster by spending less money on the marketing and your music production sounds good to you, I want you to commit to it. We're on this journey to reform the music industry and if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, I want you to secure yourself and say, I can keep doing streaming. I can keep putting my music on Spotify only, or I could commit to doing things differently. Make the decision right now that you're committing to doing things differently than you've done in the past because you're committed to get the results that you want. Guys, in order to have change in the industry, there has to be a difference in the way that we think about the different markets. It's not just one market. Streaming is not the main thing. It's not the only thing. There's billions of dollars being sold in music. So I wanna share with you guys content conversion and kind of that law of averages for how many people that view your content turn into an actual purchaser of your music. And before I do, I wanna share with you guys uh, this philosophy from Jim Rohn. So Jim Rohn says, formal education will make you a living Self-education will make you a fortune. He's also the same individual who quote who made the quote that says, wages will make you a living. No, wages are better than profits, he said. Wages are better than profits. So in other words, having a salary or working for a wage versus having a business and making profits They're different ball games. And what I'm saying is that streaming side of things, it's more of a wage. They're determining exactly how much you're worth. And I'm saying there's profits that you can build by selling your music at prices and building a business. So you are, he also says, you are the average of the five people you hang around with. That's his quote. 
And when it comes to the averages, that's one of the law of averages. What we're talking about here is a little bit different, but it ties into sales. So to succeed in sales, simply talk to lots of people every day. And here's what's exciting. There are lots of people. So let's take an example here. You post your music out there. You do some, uh, let's say you post a beat on, on YouTube or you post a uh, song on Instagram or on Spotify or on uh, TikTok or anywhere on Facebook and you get it out there. You get a thousand people to view this song, this promo of your song. Here are the numbers. 10% of them can become fans. So 10% of them can go from that song to, let's say, entering their email to pre-save your song to become, let's say they're getting a sample pack or they want to get exclusive access to unreleased song or they want to have access to something like a virtual concert and all they have to do right is enter their email so that's how they become from just a listener of, of people 10 percent can become fans and go through this email time-based trigger so after two days they get an email after four days they get an email introducing them to your brand who you are what you have available for them to buy and how they can buy it and what can what can happen well it can turn into this 10 bucks a month, hundred fans, thousand bucks a month. Now, if 25% of your fans, they're going to make up 75% of your revenue. Okay. So 25% of your fans will make up 75% of your revenue. So in other words, if you have a thousand people, hundred fans out of those a hundred fans, 25 of them will be buyers and 25 of them could purchase your music at $50 lifetime value by your releases and buying your music. Okay. And that would be over a thousand dollars, 1250, or it could be one buyer, one purchase of your music at 1250. So that's over a thousand dollars, or you could not sell commercially or jingle or one, one beat license, right? Or if you're an artist selling those 25 buyers, or, you know, you could sell $1 to 1,250 buyers for the same price. But these are the numbers of what you could expect. So here's the deal, guys. It goes directly to consumers and you create copies and you sell them with direct music offers. And you're building recurring revenue, music subscriptions. You wanna do 100 members, get there to 1,000 bucks a month, and you're increasing the value of your music. It's important. Guys, uh, one thing that I, I uh, broke down in a couple of videos, I had this person say, well, I'm wondering how I can get more people involved in my music. And I said, are you offering any fractional ownership? They're like, what's that? And I was like, oh, it's where you like take your song and then you offer percentage ownership. So how much does your music generate? They were like, oh, I usually get around 200 bucks or more a song. I was like, okay, well, if you do that, um, you know, give up 10% of your song. They're like, 10%? I'm like, yeah. How much do you make on average? 200 bucks? Well, if you give up 10% and each one of those percents is uh, 50 bucks, right? Then you can make $500 from your release by giving up 10%. And then when that song makes money, you can pay it out to the investors. Yeah, that's one way to do it. So, and what happens? Everything changed. Everything changed and more leverage was found to be able to make more money from the music. So you can do it that way. You could also, if you're getting jingles, you can get people to, to invest in that way by buying. So the goal here is that my system creates a state of expectation. The goal here is 2,500 bucks per month. That's with uh, 15 sales per month per release. Nothing crazy really just comes down to being consistent. And like I said, getting people to hear your music. So guys, my videos on YouTube give you actionable advice and guidance on how to Get stuck from the laughable streaming payouts. Maybe you waited six months and you're laughing because of how much you got. Or fighting the algorithms. You may be fighting to get the views. You're not seeing it. And you're trying to rely on streaming. Or you're struggling to get music buying fans. You're not making profits from your music. So I want to share with you guys. Uh, I want to share with you guys something that has changed everything for the artists that I've been working with in our own music business and it's our virtual music selling system. So 
you can get what I call a virtual music selling system in six video modules. And you can get into my artist growth circle, right? Aimed at making you 2,500 bucks from selling music virtually. But um, that's me working. You guys might know I work with a lot of artists. I work with labels and I charge usually around a thousand bucks a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, but usually that's what it is. Uh, but getting in now gives you a huge advantage and a major head start over everyone else as you'll be able to learn and take action as I record each session. So there aren't always opportunities where you're in early and you can take advantage of a head start, but this is one of those times. So do yourself a, fail a favor, guys. You don't want to miss this. This is the pocket of the industry. This is where people aren't hanging out. This is that blue ocean. So if you're wondering about the virtual music selling system, guys, it's a one-time payment, no subscription or anything like that. Let's take a close look at the virtual music selling system. And before I do, guys, I want you to know, uh, I have hundreds of videos on YouTube. And if you're looking to learn uh, more from me, I would encourage you go check out more of my videos. This is for people that if you want to work with me on a close basis and have those five, the average of the five people you're around, you're working with business owners, you're working with artists and producers that are trying to level up. They're making money from their music. They have a music business. You like to surround yourself with those people and also have some accountability in, in your life with your music business then this is exactly, this This is it, the virtual music sign system, guys. So here's the deal, uh, six modules. The first module is the quick start guide. So the quick start guide is getting you from where you're at to $1,000 per month with the music framework that we use in our business in 30 days. So this covers fan growth machine blueprint. How do you take your listeners that you have and get them into your email list, or building your, your contact list, and then having automation to be able to then sell your music to them. So selling your music, we're going to go over an easy to follow step-by-step -step plan. The softwares, the marketing tools are all free and the strategy that's included. So learn how to work your music part-time and make more money by selling music consistently. Guys, you can work full-time if you get the system dialed in. A to Z music selling and offer systems for making online sales. So guys, module two, uh, this is our 1000 fan accelerator and getting those 1000 fan, as I showed you guys earlier, there's artists that are getting only 55 monthly listeners, but they're making hundreds of dollars or they might have a thousand monthly listeners, but they're get, making thousands of dollars. So guys, if you get to that thousand fans, that's when things can really start to pick up. So email and direct chat systems is what we cover in module two, basically $197 value. That's because we're covering how you get those 1000 fans by building your email collection system to turn them into music buying fans. And then the welcome sequences, the automation so that you have the, all we, all you have to do is show up and just keep making music and you have these listeners that are getting into your ecosystem, learning about you on autopilot, and you'll learn step-by-step -step how to prime your listeners and get them into your ecosystem so they're ready to buy. This is a thousand fan content strategy to build your community. And it also comes with the complete music sales funnel from top to bottom, including all of our ad templates. There's also a download in there, it's the artist autonomy checklist, basically automating your music business. And module three, Guys, one thing is you want to be 100% independent. You want to own your music. You want to have your own digital real estate. So how do you set up your music store? We're actually going to sell the music. That's what we're going to be covering in this one. It's going to, you know, whether you decide to sell to your current fan base or to brand new listeners, this module will help you build an attractive website so you have 100% control. This is the most exciting module in the VMS and nobody teaches this. Never look at the streams, stop relying on the algorithms, keep it simple, create high converting music that offers your community music that will make you money. So module four guys, build a profitable music offer. So the last thing you wanna do is like 
be in a position where you're putting in music to sell, you're putting an effort to sell music, and then you're not making more than the effort you're putting in or the money that you're spending. And that's where we need to break down this direct to fan sales, building a profitable music offer. So how do you make your first 10 sales profitably and the exclusive artist offering? So let's say that you are saying, I wanna add unlockable content and I'm an artist and I want to give them unreleased music or I want to give them a virtual or physical concert or I want to uh, give them give them a group or something that is exclusive. Or you're a producer and you're saying, I wanna give licenses, I wanna sell beats, I wanna sell music and sample packs and maybe some plug-in sounds. This covers that. And then also, if you're going business to business, selling the licenses, the actual rights to the music, we break it down here and you get the profitable music product PDF. And I'll show you how to beat the algorithm so you can always keep the direct sales coming in. So guys, uh, here's the deal. Module five, building a paid subscriber base. Get your first 100 music subscribers. This is $197 value, guys, because this aims at getting you to that $1,000 a month in your music subscribers. So stop wasting time chasing streams that you don't need. These are the top five ways to build your engaged music subscriber base fast. We cover things like building challenges around your music. How do you build a community, get community Zooms, and what organic content strategy do you have? And I'll even show you how to train a team so that they can help to deliver for you. So this builds recurring revenue while your direct sales build expansion revenue. Recurring revenue, right here. Expansion is in module six, guys. The catalog and brand investors learn how to make your fans the label. The fractional music sharing blueprint, so the royalties that we talked about earlier, guys. This is the solution that you need if you want to really scale. You're gonna learn how to uh, value your music brand and then present your brand and song ownership to people at a price that they will pay an investment they will make. And uh, I've worked with a lot of different artists. This is one of the things they're finding to be very unique. The, a lot of artists, I've listened to them and they said, I need more of a team or I need people that are backing the music. I don't want a label. I want to keep my rights, but I, I want to get investors. I want to build out this business. And, you know, I, I really listened to them and I've studied some of the most um, successful artists that have done this. And then I've also been implementing it with artists that we're working with. And this really is what uh, fans are eager to do. They're eager to invest in you. And uh, it's something that I think you need to know if you're trying to build your music business. So the virtual music selling system, you get the complete system, all six modules, a value of 982 bucks. I think it could be more it could be more than that, but for what we charge for each module, uh, that's what it is. Classes begin next Thursday. And the VIP offer today, guys, 75% off today. Today's special price is just 197. So if you guys want to get in, you want to be held accountable, you want to work with me on a close basis, go to the link in the description of this video to get started. Classes begin next Thursday. Go to tuneflow.io slash sell music, or you can click the link in the description. So guys, you get the complete virtual music selling system from top to bottom in the music business. Uh, the virtual music selling system has all these six modules and the classes begin next Thursday, 75% off of that $982 value, guys. Today's price is only 197 bucks. Get started today. I'd love to work with you guys on Thursday. And if you want to work with me on a close basis, this is where you can do it. I would encourage you guys to simply take a look. And, you know, when it comes to your commitment to your business, to what you want to do, we're doing things differently. We're we're on the cutting edge here. We're we're doing things not like how you're being taught. If you go 95% of the videos you see on YouTube right now, these people are telling you to get streams. And I know how backward sometimes it can feel to say, well, everybody's saying to get streams. I should be getting streams. But guys, uh, if you want a different result, 
then you have to commit to doing things differently. And um, if that's you, like you, you are going through and you say, there's a lot of chaos over here with the streams and this, and this is that place, this is that simplicity that that is the quiet place where I could just listen to the birds chirp and get things really going with my music. This is that place. Uh, so today, uh, you can go, you can get started. We got it starting next Thursday and I'm really excited guys. Here's the deal. We're going to get started. Now you might be saying, um, well, I'm ready. I, I want to do it. I, I I'm feeling good about, it. I know it's going to increase my performance. I want to work with you. I want to surround myself with other artists. Um, the finance side, I'm not hundred percent sure if that's you guys. If you're, if you're questioning, if you could spend the money, um, first of all, I don't think any aspiring business owner artist um, should invest in something that they're not okay with losing the money. And I, I do believe that because in this music business, in any business, you got to take risks, right? You got to, you got to try, uh, you got to try things. And sometimes they don't work out. Sometimes they work out great. It's, it's, the, it's the name of the game, right? Risks. But in this one, guys, I can guarantee that you're going to be satisfied with the performance and working with me. Uh, and I can also guarantee the the finance side, guys. So 30-day um, money-back guarantee. So you can see here that I also have another guarantee. I will create a music funnel with you that makes you 10 times more than your current strategy in 30 days or your money back guarantee, your money back. So try my system today. I'll not only refund your money, but I'll let you keep all the modules. You owe it to yourself to make this small investment, follow the system and experience the results. Guys, go to tuneflow.io slash sell music. Class will begin next Thursday. So I wanna see you there on the other side, uh, or you can click the link in the description down below. Simply take a look. I'll see you guys there. So tuneflow.io slash sell music. As soon as we get started, we're gonna we're going to have our class. You're gonna get to work with me. We're gonna have a Zoom. We're going to give you all the resources that I mentioned, all the modules. And you're also going to get the community. You're gonna be able to work uh, side by side, right? Brush, brush shoulders with other music entrepreneurs. And uh, that's the deal. That's what we're, we're doing here, guys. So the virtual music selling system, you get the complete system, all six modules. And if you click the link down below, you guys are gonna see the bonuses. The bonuses, something that will surprise you. We've added in some of the most premium educational resources that I have available for you guys in the bonuses for free. It's a value of 2,281 bucks. And guys, you get the bonuses, click the link down below, you'll see it. The VIP is 75% off today, regularly a thousand bucks. It's yours today for just 197. Um, guys, go to tuneflow.io slash sell music. I would encourage you to, uh, if you're still on the fence at this point, maybe you need to, you know, watch, watch more videos. That's, that's totally fine. You know, I got a bunch of free content. I'm more than happy to be a part of your success in that way. If you want to work with me on a close basis, surround yourself with other artists and have that accountability factor. You might've gone through this. You might've taken notes. You might've said, I'm feeling good about it. I'm going to do this. But you know, maybe deep down, you're like, I wrote it down and I said, I want to do it. Am I going to follow through? And um, this is that I'm going to follow through. I'm going to have the people around me that are going to push me. And uh, that that's, that's where you get the most, um, I believe, from, from trying to get somewhere. You can get there alone. You can get there with people that have the system or doing it in a proven way and, and have, have that, uh, yeah, they're there for you. They they work for you or, or with you. It's done with you. So guys, don't wait. You committed to yourself to succeed. I appreciate you all. Grateful for you all. Hopefully you enjoy this presentation. Uh, if you're serious about it, I encourage you. Once again, go to that link in the description or go to tuneflow.io slash sell music. You committed to yourself to succeed, guys. I believe... Wish you success 100%, whether or not you're part of the program. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.